happen what's popping Detroit Butterfree fans this is Iron Flash Gaming and we got our week one game so this is the GPC and last season we were a complete mess and um, I didn't put any effort into it I didn't upload I didn't do any of that but this season I decided I'm going to try we're gonna play our games and we're gonna upload them so here's the team builder this is hopefully going to give you guys insight how to get better as this is the whole purpose of making these team builders is, is helping my audience get better and get a uh, godlike status so yeah um <laughs> let's go over the team real quick that he has he's got clefable mega scissor element slowbro heat ran amoongus stun tank Xbox, rhydon and Minetric. so um he's regarded as like the best team or one of the best teams um as uh he's got a very very um well synergized defensive core so for example he's got mega scissor and heat ran they complement each other because they resist everything and mega scissor is weak to fire and heat ran beats fires and slowbro Moongus, they are the regen core they're really fat you got clefable and salamence that have um fatness onto them salamence has the intimidate and can go really bulky or sweeper and so you have a lot of things that can go you know offensive or defensive they perfectly check each other's weaknesses for the most part and they're just very good typing wise but he's going to not deal so well with my breakers as his mons are very good very bulky but they are slow and he has no real earthquake switch in so I'm gonna avoid uh, or excuse me I'm going to take advantage of his earthquake weakness being um, Salamence's earthquake check as his grass type Amoongus is neutral to it and he's got a couple mods weak to ground being heat ran, Minetric, Rhyperior, stun tank um, another thing is that yeah his team's kind of slow so we're going to try to break his team and win late game with something like a Raikou or something like that depending on what his team is so first and foremost we got the uh, Magirna. What this is going to do is one, it's going to check his Clefable um, as Flash Cannon has the potential to lower its special defense and Flamethrower does nothing to me and I can get crits and it can't kill me. So um, it could also take Fire Blasts from Life Orb Clefable, um, it could take this, these EVs allow me to take Fire Blast from Salamence, it can take a uh, Fire Blast from Stun Tank, Fire Blast from x -Bloud. pretty much all of his special attackers I can switch. I Basically, I, I avoid it to a KO from Fire Blast, x -Bloud, um after rocks. That's what the EVs are for. And a little bit of, of defense to live a, what is it, plus two adamant bullet punch from Scizor or something like that. Yeah, and... Um, Cover chair, dazzling gleam over floor cannon because I'm only, I would only click really the fairy move versus like salmons and I don't want to miss or lower my special attack. So we're just gonna go with flare cannon, flash cannon, obviously for the clefable and other stuff. Just a general stab here, HP fire for the mega scissor and volt switch for momentum. I easily could have something like or sphere to hit the heat ran, but or sphere doesn't one shot and. He can probably outspeed me. Oh yeah, he definitely outspeeds me, and I don't really want to stay in versus Heat Ran, even though I can take a hit. And I have so much for Heat Ran that I rather just get slow volt switches into my breaker. So next thing is um, this Landris is very specifically EV for a bunch of stuff. I don't even really remember. It's in my notes, but. We're going to try to go over this team builder very fast. Basically, after a plus two sword stance, I kill everything and I avoid hits from uh, Draco, Salmons, or even a Hydro Pump after rocks. I can live um, basically a bunch of stuff. The speed tier is to outspeed a modest max speed X Bloud and defense is to live hits from like Salmons and Mega Scizor better. Um, it's my rocker, and rocks are going to be very critical. He has no spinner, but he's got two deep augers and Mega Scizor and uh, Stun Tank. But uh, Landorus beats his deep augers, so my rock should be able to stay up for the majority of the game, hopefully. 
Um, and yeah, so not only can this absolutely demolish him, um, offensively, it defensively checks a lot of stuff and it gets a Brock. So Landers is, is probably my most important mana of the team of six. But um, going from there, we got Diggersby and <clears throat> um, EVs are very simple. Max speed, max attack, speed tier to outspeed, max speed, heat ran, Z move on. And um, return an earthquake just just do such a number to him as he's what got defensive mega scissor for it, I guess. Um, I could get, I definitely can have fire punch on here to ensure I get a one shot on mega scissor, but I don't think that's necessary as I have so many more means of checking the mega scissor. Earthquake still is going to be able to do a ton, if not probably to a KO of mega scissor. Um, as I am choice band. U turn just for momentum. If he is a air balloon heat ram, then I don't want to. I want to pop the balloon and just get a U turn, or else I would probably have fire punch on the slot or spikes or something like that. No, I actually no. I'd, I'd never have spikes because Diggersby has access to spikes. I just get a kill every single time it comes in, or at least close to a kill, as um, he doesn't have much for it. Um, two kills his team easily. Next, we have the Raikou, as this Raikou, I could have something like a um, pin power grass or water to ensure I can potentially get an Oko on the Ride Don after Calm Mind. I decided HP Ice is better because he has the Amoongus, and um, HP Ice still does pretty good ship damage to the Ride Don. Um, Manetric does nothing to me, so Manetric does quote unquote wall me but I wall it and I set up call mines on it so um and HP ice after plus one should be able to a KO depending um Raiko also having the HP ice ensures that I get an Oko on the Salamence um if it's not Yachi Berry and it's really threatening versus his team next we have the Obama Snow Obama Snow is here because <clears throat> I need a ride on check um as the ride on checks my um, Raiko, and I have a lot of things that just I don't have anything that one shots it at this point in time, as my ground types probably don't one shot the ride on. And if he's dual dance ride on, then that also can get really scary. But so I gotta watch out for that. So um, basically my speed here is to speed creep the ride on. Uh, there's no real reason to have any bulk on this Obama Snow either, as um, I need the EVs and everything else. This thing doesn't really take hit. The only thing that I need Obama Snow to take a quote unquote hit from is something like a um, Slowbro, Scalds and stuff like that. I have Woodhammer that does like 68% to Slowbro with Woodhammer, Earthquake for the Heat Brand, HP Fire for the Mega Scizor, and Ice Shard is uh, really good because he has a Salamence, and I can revenge his Salamence with an Ice Shard. Um, and it's my best way to hit the Moongus, is Ice Shard, but Obama Snow's an Ice type. I have access to Blizzard. I don't really expect his Moongus to ever really stay in on Obama Snow. And if I play Obama Snow correctly, I just get a kill with it, or at least to a KO anything, as um, it's actually decently strong offensively. Its defensive typing is what makes it bad, but Obama Snow's a cool mod. And I'm excited to use it. Last but not least, um, attack stat after a plus, plus after a sword stance, I kill everything. Um, the bulk helps me live in earth power or bullet punches or sludge bombs or basically anything like that from his mons uh, or even you know moon blast. I can set up a sword stance and just flare blitz, knock out the fable. The bulk on. Uh, Bulk with life orb is kind of weird, but this is definitely my best. Like EV spread, the speed is for X Cloud. Yep, X Cloud. Um, coverage is Flare Blitz, Knock Off, Low Kick, and Sword Stance, Knock Off for the Slow Bro. I don't have coverage to hit the Salamence, but I'm pretty confident that like plus one Knock Off, and even Flare Blitzes still do like a ton. Like Salamence, unless it's like really, really defensively bulky is not a good switch into the means of Blaziken, Flare Blitz, 
even though it's a resisted, but that's the team. And um, I'm gonna try to wrap this up really quick because we're gonna start the game right about now. All right, so we're back and let's analyze a couple of things real quick. So first and foremost, the beginning of the game, we need to look at my opponent's potential uh, six as far as what mons can get up rocks, what mons can defog them, and what roles um, do uh, logically do my opponent's mons do. And from my perspective, what mons uh, are my best win conditions? So first and foremost, his two Stealth Rockers are going to be either potential Stealth Rocks Heatran or Stealth Rocks with Fable, or he doesn't have the Stealth Rocker in general. Um, he has three potential Defoggers in Defog Skun Tank, the most likely Defogger, Defog Salamence, but if he's Defog Salamence, then he's not Dragon Dance Sweeper, logically. And then Defog Scizor, once again, if you're Defog Scizor, you're not logically Sword Stance Sweeper Defog, as you'll lack coverage or something. So, um, <clears throat> his potential Scarfers, uh, lastly, are either... Choice Scarf Salamence, as with the Moxie ability, he is able to potentially late game sweep. And um, another potential Stealth uh, Scarfer is something like his Heat Ran, as that will enable him to outspeed my two ground types that will most likely be able to outspeed him. Otherwise, um, the other potential uh, items that he is on his heat rant is his heat rant is his Z move item and he could also be air balloon to better deal with his uh, glaring ground type weakness as his quote unquote ground resist is a salamence which loses to my two ground types so from my perspective I noticed that my Raikou is a phenomenal late game uh, sweeper as he does not have any counterplay to me just clicking T bolt as he does not have his Amoongus and he does not have his Rhydon to switch into T-Bolts. And so the game plan here is one, I don't want to immediately allow him to get up rocks and I just want to break his team so Raikou can late, win late game. That's essentially the game plan and first and then just you know scout out what exactly his mons do per se. So um, if he's a you know modest life orb clefable or is he a rocks clefable is he a defensive mega scissor or is he offensive um and then just kind of go from there so i'm going to lead off with my diggers b as what this is going to allow me to do is um the only thing that really beats diggers b on his team per se is mega scissor probably if he's uh, a little bit more on the bulky side uh, Mega Scizor should be able to live in Earthquake. Um, I'm not sure if he would want to risk turn one Fire Punch, but um, the only things that really beat my Diggers be 1v1 right now are maybe his Salamence, potentially, and that's essentially it. So um, if he was an Air Balloon Rocks Heat Ran, um, that would have been uh, the worst case scenario for me, but. Um, I would even if he was that I I'm still fine with that is I can just get momentum and just go for a u-turn and that would allow me to break his balloon and that would ensure me later on in the game that I can just spam earthquake because that's really something that I want to do but he leads off with this explode and I'm not sure what that means but um, I have two potential boom burst switch ins right now being my mega bomb snow that has the um, I don't have to also first turn Mega in the GPC, so um, that's something to keep in mind. I'm not sure if he knows that Mega Bomba Snow or regular Bomba Snow does get soundproof, so it would be a tiny bit risky uh, hard switching in a Mega Bomba Snow just in case he was to make some crazy play and just go for a turn one Fire Blast. And my Magirna. So my Magirna is EV to live two Fire Blasts and. Um, I can definitely make that play right now and just go hard in Magirna, but I decide I'm just going to stay in and he just and he shows me and he shows me that he is Choice Scarf X Bug, which is fine. Uh, the reason why I decided to stay in is um, if he wasn't scarfed, then I just killed him right now with a return as I decide to go for a return. 
and if he was Scarf, I was fine with taking the damage because I don't really need any HP on Digger's B for anything really as um now I'm in a really good position right now so I've shown that I could potentially be adamant silk scarf diggersby um that's as I haven't showed that I'm life orb but um I've definitely showed I'm either adamant silk scarf diggersby or I am choice banded I don't know his exact bulk on his explod either but um maybe that potentially revealed that I was banded depending on how much bulk he had so uh, now he's just going to go out in a Mega Scizor, and um, I'm going to decide to go out into my Magearna as if he has U-Turn right here, that is his play because um, if I most likely am banded, um, he would, you know, obviously I would not be able to stay in and he would immediately get momentum with U-Turn against my Deer's B, but I'm just going to decide to go out into my Magearna as it covers all plays that he wants to do, even if he were to U-Turn um, and go back out into Heat Ran. I have countermeasures to that as he decides to just go for a Bullet Punch, uh, which is fine. As I'm able to take that, I'm also forcing the switch out as I can easily go for HP Fire, which I do pack the HP Fire, but because he has this Heat Ran, I'm just going to keep up my momentum on my slide, get, get a slow bull switch off, and just go back out into the Digger Speed. So, I'm going to elect to go for a, a another Banded return, as one, he doesn't have a Ghost type, so it's kind of free <clears throat> in that sense, and if... He decides to stay in I think it does like 40% or something crazy um, he's shown that he doesn't have any he has very 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 minimal bulk uh, from the bolt switch damage unfortunately I did get a crit um, but I'm just gonna go for a return if he decides to stay in then I get off like big damage and that's you know fine with me as my Magirna would be less pressured as uh, he decides to go out into a Salamence, predicting me to go for Earthquake. And, uh, oh my goodness, Digger's D hitting him up. That was intimidated, and that did still 73%. So that's really, really, really good for me. So now, I'm just going to go out into a Bomb of Snow, as this will cover every single thing that he wants to do. Even if he decided to kill off my Digger's Beat right there with a Flamethrower, Fire Blast, or whatever. I still would have been fine with that, because, um... I don't necessarily need my Obama Snow for anything because he doesn't have the Rhydon. I really want a Obama Snow for the um, Slowbro and Rhydon mostly. And because he doesn't have that Obama Snow, it's really expendable. If for whatever reason he were to go for a Dragon Dance right there too, um, which <laughs> would be a pretty crazy play right in front of the Digger's Peak. Um, Obama Snow essentially covered any play that he wanted to go for. And the Dragon Claw, his Life Orb, that does a ton of damage. So right here, uh, <laughs> I make a uh, pretty fun play right here. So I'm going to threaten the Salamence right here, threatening him with an Ice Shard. But because he has so many Ice Shard switchings in the back, um, I think that's a little bit too obvious. And even if he decides to stay in and go for another Dragon Claw with his Salamence, that does a couple things for me. One, that racks up another round of life orb onto him and will put him in range of stealth rocks and um because uh you know i would go for hp fire right there is uh this is what i like to do what this allows me to do is essentially knock out the mega scissor now it doesn't actually oko the mega scissor it comes very close in okoing um, <clears throat> but the Mega Scizor is now in range of everything on my team as, uh, yeah, so now we're in a really, really good position now. Uh, we did lose him on, but, um, that's honestly okay with me as, uh, I'm just gonna go out into my Raikou because he has no counterplay to this. Mega Scizor can't roost up versus anything, and I wanna see right now what his counterplay to the Raikou is right now. So he's going to go hard out into the stun tank. Uh, it's kind of surprised why he kept the Mega Scizor. Um, maybe he wanted to just keep it solely for uh, the priority option, but and he has a relatively safe switch into the stun tank. As you see, that does absolutely zero damage. So he shows that he's AV stun tank. Um, 
logically, I think that was for the Latios, as um, Latios, if I were to bring it, I could bring uh, four coverage moves, being Draco Meteor for the Salmons, um, HP Fire for Mega Scizor, Earthquake for Heatran, and then Psychic for the Clefable, and maybe he didn't feel like Clefable was a good enough Latio switch in, so he's just going to go out in the stun tank that reveals that he's AP. Um, I'm pretty sure Earthquake might do a KO, but I don't know, maybe he's an EB for that, but that's beside the point. Obviously, I'm not going to stay in as this is my win condition, <clears throat> and he pursuits, Pursuit Traps me, so um, that didn't do a whole heck of a lot of damage, but good play by him, as now I'm just going to go right out into my Blaziken, and um, just in case he was Choice Scarf Heat Ran, what he could have done right here is just gone out into... Heat ran on my potential fire type move, but um, he makes a better play and goes out into the Clefable. As I probably should have went for flame, uh, fi uh, the fire move this turn, but um, I thought a more logical play was just to sack the Salamence, but maybe he just wants to keep the Salamence around so I can't spam Bandit Earthquake. <clears throat> so um, that's fine that he went out in the Clefable because. Um, it's going to allow me to get out my rocks right here as uh, he's going to go for a Moonblast that does 29%. So obviously that does like zero damage and now I can just get up my rocks as this will kill his Salamence and it will kill his um, uh, Mega Scizor. I've already seen that his Skun Tank is Assault Vest and rocks will just chip away at his Mon. So that's what I'm going to go for as he just goes out into the Scizor as I get up my rock so that's really good for me and I'm just gonna go for earthquake he was probably expecting me not to be as fast as I am and he was trying to hopefully get off a roost with the scissor but um, I am packing a lot of speed so I knock him out so he goes out back out in Clefable and um, <clears throat> I guess what that tells me is that he might have ice beam now that'd be really weird because he definitely needs coverage to hit my Magirna. Um but just kind of seeing what this Clefable wants to do. Um, I'm going to go out into my Magirna. As Magirna does lose versus the Heat Ran. And it, I have other means of checking the Skun Tank. So um, he's going to decide to go for a Calm Mind. As that's perfectly fine. Magirna still 1v1s Clefable with ease. As you see this does 47%. That's actually a low roll. As uh, he goes for a Flamethrower. Does nothing to Magirna. I can take uh, another one with ease so um i think the roll of flash hand is like 46 to 54 something like that but anyways yeah so <clears throat> i'm always going to win this 1v1 because a crit flamethrower still doesn't kill me and i'm doing roughly 50 percent each turn with flash cannons i have a chance to crit i have a chance to spit up drop and i'm in a winning position right here and um, I just also need to weaken him to the point where Earthquake from Diggersby also knocks him out too. So I now finally do get a Spideff drop. It would have happened eventually. He could not have, he could not beat this Magirna 1v1 with the Clefable. So now I'm just going to get momentum here. Um, Magirna versus Clefable. Just in case he did want to go out in the Heat Ran. Um, I'm trying to put my opponent in a position where he has no counterplay of winning. So <clears throat> just in case he did go out in Heat Ran. Um, I'm just gonna go for a full switch, but he decides to stay in and go for a flamethrower here, which is fine Because um, my landers can take that hit and I can just for free kill this um, Clefable right now with <clears throat> a tectonic rage so I take out the Clefable and he's left with essentially two mods left so I Don't know what this item is right now on heat ran, but I do know this thing is offensive as um <clears throat> knowing that uh, you know logically he's only one of two things he's either because he's not air balloon he's either or lefties he's either choice scar feet rant or zemu feet rant so uh, that's something just to keep in mind so he's going to elect to go for fire blast as um, now at this game I feel like I have this game pretty much wrapped up and I just want to get a pretty good differential um, because this is week one, so yeah, we're going for differential at this point in time because I feel like I have this game pretty much closed out. As uh, I'm just going to low kick, which would obviously take out the heat ran. As uh, now, <clears throat> I'm just going to go out into the Magirna because I can take this uh, 
crunch or sucker punch or whatever you want to go for there. So he goes for a crunch. Even if he had fire blast on assault vest for death, <clears throat> and I would have lived that. And um, I just go for a flash cannon here. He goes for another crunch, showing that crunch is the strongest move to hit the Magirna. And now I just go for a volt switch. Crit literally does not matter because he still was in range of a T bolt with my Raikou. And um, he's revealed that he is Sucker Punch, so I can obviously live the Sucker Punch, but I can win this game 5-0 right now if I substitute on his Sucker. And I haven't revealed that he had I had sub, but he sees right through that, and he goes for a Crunch. <clears throat> so good play by him. I'm going to go for a sub just one more time, seeing if he goes for Sucker Punch, but no, he does not go for a Sucker, so... <clears throat> That's fine. I'm just now going to go for a T-Bolt as he's pretty adamant for going for crunches. So, um, uh, Thunderbolt is a roll to kill him. Um, I need like a really high roll to kill this Heatran as uh, <clears throat> I think I'd probably get an average roll here. Um, but he's going to go for the Z-Move and uh, that's some pretty cool text. So, Something that I probably didn't consider enough is uh, Z-Move plus one speed, but I kind of had that potential in the back as I've seen it kind of as of late on the ladder, um, that Z-Move plus one speed, but <clears throat> because I kept my Diggers B around, uh, even if he takes me out right here with a Fire Blast, as he takes me out with the Earth Power, which is fine for me, uh, I do have the Diggers B in the back. I am packing the Quick Attack, and I'm able to take out this Heat Ran. So, um, <clears throat> that was a good. That was a good week one. Um, shout out to my opponent. He uh, played really good, but I was able to take advantage of some of the weaknesses of his drafts. Um, I think I was able to use every single Mon on my team of six, and they all. Uh, they all did very, very well in this matchup. So um, that's GPC week one. Let's keep trucking. And until next time, peace.